When grass starts to turn brown in specific patterns, we need to investigate further. More often than not, it's an underlying soil condition. In probing the soil in this area of the yard and speaking to the homeowner, it was discovered that they used to park a pickup truck here along the curb and they would pull the front wheels and the back wheels up onto the grass. And so we've got a heavily compacted soil here that's stressing out the lawn. We need to alleviate this compaction in hopes to get this grass to recover uh, when the temperatures cool off. Here's another area of the same landscape. This grass could just be stressing out from growing next to this hot concrete of the driveway, but this particular area seems to be heavily damaged and was turning brown and going dormant very early in the season. And if we get a knife out and probe down in here, we'll actually find that there's a layer of concrete just a couple inches underneath of this ground. That's what's causing the shortened root system and causing this grass to stress out, and this grass is actually dying here. Uh, so we need to dig this area up, get this concrete that's out of the ground, and so we can have a nice deep root zone for this turf grass area to survive. Here's another area of compaction, but this compaction was not caused by the wheels of the vehicle, but actually of the occupants getting in and out of the vehicle and walking across the ground, compacting the soil and actually causing some traffic damage on the grass. This stressed out area in the lawn is caused by this water main valve cover. Uh, this metal valve cover gets real hot, it heats up the soil, causes the soil to get drier and hotter, and that causes the grass around it to turn brown and go dormant quicker. So spend some time this summer and walk around and look at these dry and damaged areas and try to figure out what the underlying soil problems are. So that way when the temperatures cool off this fall we can either rent a core aerator or maybe we need to dig out a buried object concrete or rock that's underneath the soil surface that's impeding our root growth. But look at these dry and damaged areas and try to figure out what's causing this problem so we can fix it so we won't have these problems next year. For more information on how to improve your soils, head on over to Kansas Healthy Yards and Communities at kansasgreenyards.org or the Kansas Turfgrass information pages found at ksuturf.com.